Okay, so what I'm going to do now is show you the largest box algorithm. Um, this is an algorithm that's not really used very much, um, but uh, works very well in some scenarios. So um, I've personally seen it used where you're selling something like um, auto electrical equipment, um, say you're a hardware store, where you don't really know the volume of your products, but you know the boxes that you're putting them in. And with the largest box, it's always going to just use the box itself, and it'll defer to the largest one that it can fit stuff into. So let's have a look at it in action, and it'll make a, a lot more sense. So we have to change the uh, packing algorithm in here, so we set that to be uh, largest. And then we need to go and configure the products. There's um, two ways that we can set these products up. So the, the simplest way, and this is the original way that it was done, is we just specified dimensions on them. So this is how we had it set up for the um, previous one on best fit. But what I'm going to do is just set dimensions, so 5 by 5 by 5. And then if we add this product to the cart, then because it's just one product, that's what it's going to use. Um, so let's put this in. Um, and that's what you see here. Now, even if you push this right up, and let's say we add 10 of them, it's not actually going to make a difference to the boxes that are used. It would only put into a new box if you have a max quantity or a max weight set at a box level, which is what you specify um, in, the, in these boxes. But because we're just specifying dimensions, there is no max weight, there is no max quantity. So let's add another product in, and then you'll see how the largest box really comes into action. So here, let's, uh, let's say that dimensions of these are 10 by um, 12 by 12. Now, if we add this in, what it's going to do is take the largest box, hence the name of it. Okay, so now it moves it up, so everything goes in this 10 by 12 by 12. Um, and if we add more of these, then it's not going to make any difference. It would make a difference on the price inside because it might be splitting it up there. Um, these prices are all um, just just um, test rates anyway. So now the thing to do is um, see the other way that you can do it, which is where you can specify multiple boxes. Now in this scenario, you don't need to set dimensions. You can just set the boxes that are used. So we could say that this is only allowed to be in a large box. Um, and then for the other item, and go back to that, we can actually specify that so that it allows it to be in the large and the small box. Okay. And then this side, let's just bring this back down. So now what it's done is it's put, because we just have the one item in, and this can go in the small or the large, it's put this in the small one. Because that's the smaller of the two, there's no restrictions there, and so that's what it can use. So, so even if we had 50 of these, then it was still going to use the small box for them. So there's no, there's no restrictions. We're not looking at volume at all. We're just looking at the box that it can fit into. And then if we add the other product in the cart, which was specified on the large box, then it will actually push everything over into that. But it differs from best fit in that it's not looking at volumetrics at all. It's just looking at the boxes that are assigned, and then it's taking that box and it's using it. And then if we had a third item in the cart which sh shipped separately, then we could then, um, that would go come in as a separate box. So if this item here is shipped on its own, we add that, we'll see a separate box come in. There you go. So this one here has got no dimensions and it goes in its own box. So, so this is how the uh, largest um, box algorithm works in dimensional shipping. Very useful for some circumstances. Just bear in mind that you will lose some of the accuracy that you'll get with the best fit and the exact packing. Um, and the, there's a balance to be made. But in terms of setup, very, very simple. Because really all you need to do is just assign these boxes to it. And then let it go away and then use the, the best one that you can fit it into. So it so works very well, but does have some accuracy problems as, as you go up.